Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Thanks for joining me today. I've been really busy over the last couple of months working on some special projects, doing some consulting work to pay the bills, and working on a survival knife that I think you guys are really going to like. And now I'm off to Sigma 3 Survival School for 40 days of intense training in the dirt. I'm taking my video cameras along so I can put together a video series of the experience for you guys, covering basic, important survival skills, tools, and techniques for release later this year. To hold you guys over until I get back, I've selected this video. Hope you enjoy it. Today we're gonna take a look at some more survival kits. This is our survival kit blitz. Get a lot of requests from people uh, on various survival kits and probably more requests for the survival kit we're gonna look at now than any other. And that's the Henry survival kit. You know Henry mostly from the Henry, classic Henry rifles that yeah. go back yeah. to the late 1800s. Sure. And uh, so they, came out with a survival kit, technically came out. Okay, like a lot of companies, they worked with, I did my research on it, did my due diligence on this one. Just not on my background check. And exactly the same kit. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a while to catch up with you. <laughs> it's morning too, man. Now the Henry kit and its contents are very similar except for a few components even right down to the little pocket survival guide that we'll take a look at in a little bit. To the uh, Best Glide Ultimate Adventure Survival Kit. Mm. And it's made by ASE, which is Aviation Survival Equipment. Mm -hmm. These folks provide, they started by providing aviation survival kits for aviators. Okay. And uh, this, this kit, whether you buy this kit from the Henry website, or whether you buy this kit from Amazon or somewhere else, I'll put links in the video description to both. It's about 89 bucks. Okay. Now, these folks offer a standard version that's $69 and they stripped out a couple of components. One that's key, which is a survival straw, which I would probably pay the extra okay. money, get that, and there's a couple other things that they stripped out to get the price down to 69. Okay. Okay, so starting from that, these are pretty extensive kits. I'm just gonna take the Henry kit over here and we'll just work off of this one. Okay. So I'll let you. Well, it's a sturdy case. Very it's got sturdy case. Flip offs. Yep. You could use it for other things. I, I don't know if this is fire worthy, if you could cook in it or if it's. Got I would a, cook in it. Yeah. I would cook in yeah. it. Yeah. And it's got sure. little. Tells you what's in there. Yeah, exactly. So that's nice. I like it. But as always, you want to check through your stuff and think through what you have in there beforehand. I, I'm going to just mention a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so they have these these rolly seals, which actually this whole thing gets kind of crunched compressed. down, compressed there. Mm -hmm. It all fits in good, but we do have silicon rubber gaskets mm -hmm. around here, so this is a watertight container. Yep, but I know you could use that for your putting your food on, yeah. because I know you like to have that plastic yep. to keep your stuff safe. Okay, and you like bags. <laughs> like bags. Containers. So the, okay, so here's a nice one. This isn't you know this isn't the uh, card system, yep. but at least we talked about in the last kit one thing we wish. All kits. Have. Just a basic survival tips list. Yep. What to do, and I like the fact that it starts as it should with be calm. Yep. I think is the thing I keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> it's like in chicken run. Don't panic. I I need Sounds to keep heads. calm. Yeah. yeah. So I like that. That's nice. Not not that I mean, we also talked about the fact that you'd have to hold it out about here to read it. <laughs> maybe but maybe there's a, there's a magnifier, lens. <laughs> Fresno lens. All right, you open some. Yep. And, and there are good. There's good tips on there. Yeah. Yeah. There's practical stuff. I It'd be nice if that. that was plastic or something else, because you know you get in the rain, that drops in the snow. Yeah. You just it would lost be nice. your stuff. So I mean, that would be a plastic, a, or there are papers now that are. Right water like Tyvek type Tyvek thing type that shape. I've seen yep. it printed on a Tyvek type yep. thing and that, that won't tear either so that's good no you start right. I feel like the greedy child on Christmas I'm always grabbing for well we stuff talked about that I'm gonna put my we're, hands in my pocket you were one of those kids that you're gonna that do the whole kit yourself thing, I'm not gonna touch not a chance no, no, no. <laughs> all right so this is this is some of your uh, your basic medical stuff okay all right it looks like we've got gauze band-aids let's just bring it out looks like bacitracin probably oh APAP that's a fancy name for Tylenol um, acetaminophen in this country, APAP, a lot of the rest of the world use that. And a couple of aspirin. Okay. Triple antibiotic ointment. 
right, which is useful. Band-aids, more band-aids, and a gauze. I think that's what we've got in there. Okay. So, you know, very basic. Not a lot, but... Helpful. Could, yeah, a little bit of pain relief. Uh, this is a pyro pack. Okay. Okay. And it only thing is, it looks like it may have... Has it already opened? No, it looks like it might have... Yeah, it looks like it's leaking. Popped in there. Yeah. All right, so there's a downside, although, you know... It is crushable. Yep. Go ahead. Ah, we found this in the, in the last pack, too. Similar. Okay, very similar. Right? Uh, it's like the same It might be the same cordage. spool. This has buttons and smaller safety pins in the last pack. A couple of straight pins. I don't know if I want to break all that out. And uh, a threader. That's good for those of us with the with the eyes. Yeah. Eye problems. Yep. Right? <laughs> when, really your, when your good. fingers are cold <laughs> and you can't see and you're trying to thread the needle. So, yeah. I mean, that's something that I would not have thought of putting a, a threader in. It doesn't take up much space or weight. Yeah. So that's interesting. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead. Sure. Dave, I mean. It's, okay. it's hard. It's all very right. hard. This is good for me, though. <laughs> Fire starter. Okay. Tinder quick. Tinder quick. Again, pull the to use this stuff. I'll just do a simple example only because I learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. if, if you try to light compact, this stuff, it it's light. all tight and compact. So what you have to do is you actually grab an end and you, you kind of mm -hmm. pull it apart with your thumbnails. Hopefully it's not too, too cold because it becomes increasingly more difficult. Yeah. But you pull that apart and then your fire steel. Otherwise it's just pull. too compressed. It's, it's too like compressed. trying to start exactly. a hardwood yep. instead of starting a pine. All right, now here's a little fishing thing, which is nice. It's got a little fishing wiggly kit. one. And this is the most extensive fishing kit that we've seen. And most of the stuff oh, that you have, yeah. Most of the stuff, like what you have, is very basic. What we saw in the last kit is very basic. You'd have to kind of make your own from the cordage that's in there. This one is a, looks like a pre-strung throw line. Nice. And split shot, different weights, lots of hooks and then a weighted lure. So if you can't find larva in a gall somewhere on the, the reeds or something else. Okay, you got me. Uh, yeah, basic nylon cordage, but this is, this is pretty good quality stuff by the looks of it. Now what's the weight, uh, tensile weight on that? What did you do? What do you think? Uh, 25 to 35 pounds maybe. I'm thinking more. More? Go ahead. I think with 30, 35 back. pounds, I should, I'll, I'll be able to snap it. No, that's a lot. Okay. A so, lot. Yeah. what do you think? Maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing we could probably hang 100 pounds off this thing. Okay. So, I agree with you. It's high quality. So, what's that? Water purification. And well, this is a powder instead of a tablet, which okay. is interesting. So, you don't have to wait for you don't have to crush the tablet. You don't have to wait for it to dissolve. It's just kind of like goodies powder for your water. Okay. Yeah. So, nice there we go. Yeah. Go ahead, keep going. You sure? Yep. All right, you got a little metal thing. This looks like a candle. Mmm, smells nice too. Beeswax. I think it's actually real beeswax. It is beeswax. You've had, you've had an apiary. It, it smells like beeswax. It's definitely beeswax. All right, what do we got here? Just another uh, light. This looks like a light. That is a light. Woo! Nice. Okay. Okay. And now, I do a little, believe a this, clip. this is one of the add-on items that you only get mm -hmm. in the advanced kit, not the standard kit. This is the same filter, uh, different color, same filter as we saw in the last and one. That is, there should be a straw in here somewhere. That's the add-on item, there too. Is. Okay. That's another one. All right. So this Same Frontier this filter. Time, so it must... Uh, there we go. Yep. It's proven filter. There you go. Nice. So here's something that's much more comprehensive than we saw in the others. Okay. So basically it's here not Swiss army knife. One of the things is it's actually fairly sturdy. Okay. You know, sometimes when you get the yeah. ones that aren't Swiss army knife, yes. they're just not right. And uh, you know, if you're gonna have a bottle of wine in the middle of a survival situation, you're gonna want that. It's That's right. It's important. I mean, what if you're in France? The only thing that you can eat in the wild is brie and a baguette and some, some nice red wine. A little bit of wiggle, but yeah, you know, for, for- That's right, for its purpose. For its purpose? Right. I, I'd be really happy to have just, that. Yeah, yeah. Just sure. in case you somehow you lost your other knives. And gosh, if you got a Swiss Army knife, it would be half the cost exactly. of the kit. Yeah, so, exactly. So good. Well, if you really are trying to keep your paws out. Yep. Just okay. hold it out a little bit. All right. There you go. Okay. So this this is not quite. Maybe it is. No, it looks not quite the same as sturdy. Thing. As, it looks like it's the same company. It doesn't somehow it doesn't just feel orange. Quite, yeah. Oh, notice different. The other kit, the. Uh, 
survival metrics, evasion, and escape wasn't orange. Everything was black in there. Yep. Because this is more yep. survival. That was a evasion. Yep. Yep. So a little less conspicuous. So we've got redundancy already in blades, mm -hmm. which is that is nice. That is nice. Okay, All right. Duct tape. Duct tape. My favorite. Very nice. Yep. Good. Right. Looks like another redundancy. Fire starter. And duct tape. What can we do with duct tape? Just about everything. Yeah. Everything that you can't do with black electrical tape, you can do with duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Including patching wounds. It's a real pinch, but we've got band-aids for that. It looks like fire scrape steel. off the black, as you scrape mentioned before. Scrape off the black. Yep. Get some fire steel. That's so a nice really, chunk of fire steel, too. It's a lot. That'll last you a while. Good. Good. Dave? Yeah. Sorry, I know it's, it's, I know it's killing you. Survival saw. Yep. Basic. Pull the rings. Back mm -hmm. and forth. Handy. At times. A little bit of wire for your snares. That's a good bit of wire. Yeah, yeah. That's probably 22 gauge. Okay. So nice for squirrels, smaller critters. Squirrels are and, uh, and other things. I mean, you can do a lot of things with wire. Emergency blanket. It looks similar to the one. Is it a blanket or blanket? It's a banquet. We're thinking banquet. French wine and squirrel now. <laughs> anyway. It's a little button compass. Button compass, very similar to the other one, and it is pointing north because I know where north is. It's that way. Over there. <laughs> Especially you know, since it's pointing that way. Okay, I'm doing easy. Whistle. Mm -hmm. You gotta give it a go. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Whoa. A little louder than the that last one. Higher pitch, yeah, too. It's definitely loud. Smaller. And okay. orange. Yeah. Spin on it. I'll All sterilize right. it later. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Best glide matches. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, if you want to have a cigar with your wine and your squirrel, you would like these. Ah, uh, cable ties. These are actually pretty, pretty good strengths. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Zip and ties. this is important if you're if you're going to play miniature golf when you're out there. Yes. Because this is clearly definitely the miniature, clearly golf, the miniature pencil. golf pencil. All right, man. So we've got our mirror and our survival reflector in this pack. In a bag. In a bag. Which you like? In a little bag. There's no reason not to like bags. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. See. And then instructions on the back. And this nice. you can use for cleaning it. You could, or yeah. Whatever else, yeah. Well, yeah, this one didn't come with a little plastic right. this thing is protecting over it, it. So that's your protective covering. All right. And more redundancy. This looks like the same NATO pack. It doesn't say NATO, but looks suspiciously it's, similar to the, suspiciously the NATO similar. pack. So we've got I think more the, fire, fire, fire. I think fire, on the fire. list they actually called it NATO pack. So Did we'll, they? we'll just okay. go with that. All right. Although it doesn't say it. Ah. Business yeah, card. So. Fresno oh, lens. Oh, there you go. Okay. Fresno lens again <laughs> for people who so need now, now reading glasses read, but read that now. don't have them. There you go. Now I can read our survival instructions. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty useful. <laughs> or you can burn them if you're careful. Yep. <laughs> or you can get a focused beam from the sun and start a fire. What's that? Mm, this looks like a patch of fabric. And we've got some, yeah, we've got this heavy duty. Uh, thread in here, so mm -hmm. yep. And that I think that's, that's exactly what that is. That's pretty yep. heavy duty. And so we'll stick it up here with we'll stick all that stuff there. Here's just free emergency information. And we have a pencil. We have a golf pencil, pencil on it. Yep. Whether it'll write on this I'm or not. Sure this looks will. like it's made from a pen. That's interesting. That I've not seen before. With the little something. But you would fill that out. Yeah, ahead of time. Ahead of time, sure. Just in case they found this you. This is for your golf. This, <laughs> this, is, is, for this is for the non-survival. It's, it's like, who, who, who do you contact? That's, that's terrible, but true. Uh, this is for the golf game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You that's see, that's snappy. You the, the, the score. And you can play a lot of golf you with this. You can play a lot of golf. Yeah, a lot of golf with this. And it's, I like that it's kind of like a graph paper thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do a grid map. You can do a grid map. Yeah. Yeah, nice. You could write down the recipe for the squirrel. Actually, it's got the cover is like a polymer, it's like a plastic. Yep. So it'd be a bit rain resistant. And we have the coffee filter, coffee filter. Yep. for after the dinner. <laughs> Just nice. Because so you never know. You, you never know. That's right. That's right. Be prepared. Squirrel tastes much better with <laughs> a nice cup of coffee. So anyway, you can filter just about anything. Yep. Absolutely. Cool. Simple, lightweight. Pre-filter your water yeah. before you use tablets if you have to use the tablets and you didn't splurge for the uh, advanced kit. And, and depending on what your what your water source looks like, yeah, you, you might want to much do that. nicer. Yeah. And uh, foil mm -hmm. again, 
this is a nice quality foil, maybe very similar to the other one, I'm going to say. That's yeah, probably a, very similar. about 18 inches by 24 inches again. Yep, Cook on that, another reflector, handy that for Here's another Dave thing, a desiccant, uh, desiccant, yep, desiccant pack, pack, which is nice. Yep. And another Dave thing, extra bags. These yes. guys were thinking of it. Yes. Yeah. These, are, nice. these are your buddies. Yeah. All right. And and I agree. This this really does look, with the exception of these, which are plastic and would be a fire problem. Yep. I mean that's one thing that would be different. You could some squirrel stew in that. Right. But yeah. I'm just thinking, if indeed these were not plastic, if mm -hmm. they had made these metal, obviously that w adds weight. Yep. Then you wouldn't be as afraid to really oh, cook okay. in this. Yeah. Because once you get these hot, unless they're somehow fire resistant, you're gonna potentially ruin your pack. Yeah. So what do you think? A lot simpler than the last pack. 89 bucks. Um, it has some features that we haven't seen before. The extra knife. Yep. Which is nice. What do you think? I think it's a nice kit. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If I am going somewhere and I just want to grab a kit, which I usually do, if I'm going anywhere more than five miles from my home, I'm usually grabbing my pack. I often grab my, my Henry kit. And recently I've been grabbing the Survival Metrics kit. And I, we're not gonna talk about this in the series, but I have done a review on the Gear Pods mm -hmm. Wilderness Survival Kit. So it's, it's always gonna be one of these three kits if I'm not just gonna throw my own survival kit right. in or whatever. I like it, it's good stuff. Appreciate you being here again. And yeah, thanks. thanks again. Can't wait to taste that squirrel. <laughs> it's really good. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.